But if you step back for a moment and see what they're doing here, it's not just a one-off issue, it's not just a one-off cut. This is part of this government's overall strategy, which is to make the poor pay for a mess that the rich have created. That's, that's their overall strategy. And of course, the, the people, at the, there's only 67,000 households out of you know, the 60 million people in this country who receive this level of benefit. Most of the money goes on rent. That's why over half of the people who receive that much uh, are in London, where the rents are highest. And then, uh, if you just consider for a moment, you know, when it's posed as being fair and posed as being in defence, as Melanie says, of hard-working people, you've got to think to yourself, uh, hang on a minute, if you... In, in some ways, maybe what the government's complaining about is that these people aren't claiming enough. If these claimants weren't claiming £26,000, but were claiming a million pounds and then a million pounds bonus on top of that as well, instead of a cap being put on it, there would just be a mild call for them to show some restraint. If they were having millions of pounds that they were taking uh, out of society, and then they were putting that money in their wife's name and shoving it over to the Cayman Islands so that they didn't pay any tax, then instead of a cap being put on it, Instead of a cap being put on it, then the inland revenue would be meeting them, as the inland revenue did meet with many big businessmen just before Christmas, and wrote off in one day £25 billion of tax that was avoided. £25 billion, it is so much more. And therefore, what's pernicious, I think, about this argument, is it's trying to divide all the different people who are being hammered. Because, yes, the working poor are being hammered. And so how pernicious it is to say, do you know who's taking it? The people who are even poorer than you. This is what they do all the time. Okay. We're going to put up the fees. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll make you pay tuition fees so that, uh, because we're going to protect the working poor. And the danger here is that all the different people that they're hammering are all squabbling amongst themselves about who it is who's taking it, while the rich run off and get away with it.